Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So welcome to your readings for February 2019. I want to wish all of my Aquarians out there a very happy birthday. We are officially in Aquarius season as far as Western astrology is concerned. Uh, I also want to wish you guys a happy Valentine's Day, maybe, if you're doing anything, if you're celebrating. I hope you have a great one. And if you're not such a fan, then forget I even said that, right? <laughs> so these are general readings, okay? Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and send me an email, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. All of the readings that I offer are listed in the description box below. So go ahead and check that out and read through those. See if you whichever one you would like and then shoot me an email. If you can't decide, then still email me and we can discuss the situation a little bit and I will help you pick out the best reading to move forward with, yeah? We are using the Golden Universal Tarot for the readings with the Oracle of the uh, Unicorns, hee hee hee, for a little bit of Oracle guidance, yeah? Um, uh, just one thing that I wanna mention about the readings. I recommend that people watch the uh, the, the Leo reading and the Capricorn reading. Leo, because we just had that super blood moon eclipse on the 20th of, sep of September, no, January, excuse me. I don't know why I said September, but um, the 20th of January. And depending on like, say if Leo was a, is, is a big thing in your chart, sun, moon, rising, or Venus or whatever, or depending on what house Leo is in for you, you could get some good insight as to what may have happened uh, around or what may be shifting around that full moon that we had, the super blood moon eclipse. The Capricorn video, I also recommend that people watch, uh, re regardless if you have Capricorn in a major placement, as a major placement like Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. You, with that one, you may also want to look into where Capricorn may be, what house it may be in in your chart. For some reason, there was just a lot of major collective energy that was coming through, at least in the very beginning of that reading. So I recommend that maybe if you're interested, if, there, if that's piqued your interest, if you resonate with that a little bit, to go ahead and watch that reading, yeah? If you are in the New York City metro area, come through and see me every Friday at Om Shanti Bookshop. I am there doing in-person readings from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The link to their website is in the description box below. Go ahead and check their, uh, check their website out. You can give them a call and schedule a reading in advance with me or any of the other fantastic readers there. We have astrologers, palm readers, tarot and oracle card readers like myself, and we're all really good at what we do. <laughs> yeah. They also have a really excellent crystal selection, a card selection between tarot and oracle cards. They do have a nice book selection, uh, essential oils, incense, sage, palo santo, anything that you might want. I'm pretty sure Om Shanti has it. Yes. And they do ship locally, oh, well, remotely. They do ship their, their, um, uh, uh, they can ship things. <laughs> Go ahead and give them a call. If you like, you can make it an order over the phone or you can do it online, yes. And finally, I am on Instagram and um, Facebook. You can go ahead and follow me there. The links are in the description box below. Okay, so I think that's it. Yeah, so without further ado, let's get to it, guys. Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for February 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. A very happy birthday to you guys. We are in your season right now. I hope you guys are having a fantastic birthday if you've had it already. And if you haven't had it yet, I hope you do have a fantastic birthday. And I just hope you guys are doing well all around, yeah? So let's get into this for February, yeah? Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good for all involved for the month of February 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Aquarius, so the energy for you right now is feeling pretty flowy. You know, I feel like you're not you're not really trying to go against the grain. You're not trying to do anything too radical. You're just, you know, you're enjoying 
enjoying your birthday month. Um, you know, if if you have any plans for Valentine's Day, I hope you you know I hope that goes well for you. If you don't have any plans for Valentine's Day, whatever. It's not like you really need them. <laughs> um, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, one more shuffle. And we'll get into it here. Boop. All righty. Overall energy for you, Aquarius, we have, yeah, we have the Six of Pentacles, okay? So this is that flowy energy that I was talking about. Um, very humanitarian-like, which is, you know, your archetype, which is fantastic. Um, some of you actually may be looking to give to charities or start working with a charity at some point um, if you're not already. If you're already part of some sort of charitable organization, I feel like you're working towards being a... Uh, a more integral part of that team, um, teamwork, team situation, uh, more a part of an integral part of that uh, business, that process. Um, but at the same time, what I'm getting here with the Six of Pentacles is just a flowy energy, just going with the flow, um, staying in that recipro recipro reciprocal, excuse me, staying in that reciprocal energy. Um, not necessarily wanting to generate any sort of negative karma also. So I really do feel like you're trying to stay on the up and up here with this Six of Pentacles. And there's definitely some healing involved here. For some of you, this has to do with finances um, and a big purgy situation for um, the collective, mainly right before the full moon, uh, the Leo full moon, super blood moon eclipse that we had. Um, the energies of purging lack mentality any sort of ancestral energies surrounding um, vows of poverty from ancestors from lifetimes in the past um, there's a lot of healing and a lot of purging from that i'm hearing for from spirit um, and if you are purging then that could be a bit of a tumultuous thing um, this is a very strong lesson um to learn from um, it, it, and for the collective it's been very much a situation of a hard situation to really uh, end those cycles purge from that and move on to something new now you aquarius those of you that are especially those of you that are in that um humanitarian mode you really might be feeling this purge um and wanting to help wanting to be there for people so this could be why some of you are choosing to um, donate your time and your energy to a charity yeah page of pentacles this is even more of that energy um uh with the whole humanitarian thing the helpful thing i'm really seeing many of you just wanting to be of help wanting to be of service um, and this is honest this is truthful this is compassionate this is loving this is grounded this is stable you want to be of practical help to people and right now ah yes you have the four of wands here so a lot of what is influencing this is your own stability your own happiness um your own grounded nature uh, i'm just getting a huge humanitarian vibe here and you have the seven of pentacles so there's a lot of pentacles in your reading right now aquarius um, many of you are very much focused in the physical world and that honestly that really is why you came here as an Aquarian to be of service in some way to the people around you to the earth even um, seven of Pentacles is also speaking to number one it's a progression um, if you have been in an impoverished situation in the past and you are now you have leveled up in some way or you have come full circle in some way um, you're now taking what you have learned and working on giving back and it's almost as if it's a sense of a duty it's a sense of yeah it's a sense of duty here for you especially with the knight of pent uh, not the knight excuse me the page of pentacles there's a sense of duty here to give back to um provide people with things um substantial tools or assistance or practical knowledge to help others on their journey especially in light of what you may have been through on your own okay um, philanthropy is really big in your energy right now um, and it's again keeping with this flowiness of your of your energy at the moment it's not even like you're really trying too hard to look for opportunities 
um, because many of you are well aware that y you'll just come across them should you hold the vibration of wanting to be in that position, okay? Um, yeah, reciprocity is very big for you right now, Aquarius, and that's quite beautiful, especially in light of what's going on, you know, in the world with our government shut down, shutting down and all that craziness, okay? All right, so in the, we're going to get into the first row here. First row is going to be um, a look at what's going on around you currently. The second row is going to look at what could be coming up for you in the future of the month, okay? First set of surrounding energies for you, Aquarius, you have the seven of wands. Uh, a defensive in nature, boundaries, guardedness. But what I'm seeing in relation to this for you, Aquarius, is you being that person to be some sort of defense for others. Um, you know, helping others defend themselves is really what I'm seeing here for the most part. Um, also, with what you have learned in your life up in this, pr in this process up until now, um, you are really working on, you could be working on or in the process, or I'm sorry, um, working, uh, actively working on or holding certain boundaries that um, are needed, are necessary for you to maintain this stability to maintain the stability that you have recently acquired, all right? And this was, the Spirit is saying, this is within the past few months that you really, really, you really gain this sort of footing, this sort of solid foundation. It may not necessarily look like anything in the physical world, but that doesn't matter, okay? Because ultimately you have the energetic, ooh, sorry guys, you have the energetic foundation within, and that is what you're moving from. That's what you're acting from, okay? Seven of Wands is coupled with, yes, the Ace of Swords. You've learned a lot, Aquarius. You've been through quite a bit so far, and you know, you have these boundaries in place. But with the Six of Pentacles being in your, your first card in the overall energy, you're very much in a philanthropist energy. You're very much wanting to take what you have learned and use it not only to help yourself, but to help others in the process, okay? That's really quite beautiful, Aquarius. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aquarius, we have, yes, here you are, the star. All right, healing, hope, faith. Um, but you, it's almost as if you found a new sense of faith within and you were really trying to bring that through to others right now. You're trying to instill more hope and faith in others, which is beautiful. You're working on healing yourself and a lot of that healing of the self happens when you work to help to heal others, okay? The star is coupled with the four of swords. So some of you actually might be taking a little bit of a break, um, but I don't see it's it's uh, it's interesting because what I'm seeing is yes you could you could potentially be taking a break, but also in taking a break you're still trying to help others. Um, for some of you you're very empathic, you're very much a healer, um, and so you're learning how to there's a there's a uh, uh, a desire or action taken towards being taken towards learning how to be an empath and be there for others while still maintaining your own boundaries and your own balance okay balance and stability are very much um a focus for you right now but also in in the lot in the guise of helping others find their own balance and focus some of you actively could be taking a bit of a retreat to heal right now um and some some of you i am feeling like there there are some energies within the aquarian collective right now in which you've learned something new and um it might have been pretty shocking for you with the ace of swords the ace of swords can be an abrupt you know all of a sudden boop you've got this like brand new insight and depending on you know how you're perceiving it it could be it, it could be really exciting and fill you with a bunch of joy or it could be absolutely terrifying um and so that could be why you're you have this guard, guardedness about you right now. I just don't feel too much aggressive energy around you. It's not even like you're trying to to fight anyone. You're not looking for a fight, nor are you willing to really entertain a fight should it come your way. But you're still being very grounded and guarded. Um, and with the Four of Swords here, I do see you in the process of taking some time to reflect on all of the things that you may have been experiencing up until now. Um, I really do feel like the, for some of you, um, post full moon, uh, full lunar eclipse that happened on December, I'm sorry, January 20th, the evening of January 20th, 20th through the morning of, 20, of the 21st, 
that really could have brought up some major stuff for you. That really could be the Ace of Swords that you have real come to come into a realization of. Um, and so now you're just taking some time to rest and heal as we migrate out of those energies, okay? Your current challenge in the surrounding energy, you have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, battered and bruised, but still persevering. This is the Wounded Warrior card, okay? Um, your challenge really is to just keep swimming for a lot of you. For many of you, you're, you're not finding it too hard to do this, but for others, you're kind of struggling through it. And I want to say that really could be for those of you that really um, felt something with this last full moon on the 20th of January, uh, which was in Leo. So maybe if you have Leo in your chart, you felt that full moon like crazy. Um, also could be being around others. Now, for those of you that are really in this philanthropic energetic vibration, um, you're surrounding yourself with people that are very much battered and bruised and feeling this nine of wands energy. And so your challenge is to deal with that, is to help people through that, okay? Be a voice of reason, but also a guiding light, a helping hand for others in there, okay? Nine of Wands is coupled with the, wow, the 10 of Wands. So some of you really are struggling to release some burdens here. Um, wow, that's really interesting the way it came out that way. So you're persevering. Some of you are persevering needlessly. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Some of you are persevering needlessly. Um, and, you know, you have these burdens that you need to release. But then here comes that philanthropic energy where it's like, no, I got to be, I have to be there for people. This is my life mission. I, I have to help people, blah, blah, blah. But Aquarius, you can't help others if you're not helping yourself. You can't, you can't be there for others if you're not whole and, and, and feeling good on your own. You have to take care of number one before you can take care of everyone else around you, all right? Your uh, final message for these current energies around you or potentially your, your outcome here, you have, wow, the tower yeah okay some of you are actively going through a tower moment right now could be from that full moon um it could i heard philanthropic again so it might have to do with some of this philanthropic philanthropic energy that you're dealing with you could be helping others dealing with deal with tower moments of their own working with others could be bringing forward a tower moment for you um uh, but the, also this tower moment that you're expect that's coming through here right now, either you just came out of it or you're in it. But it also could be why this Seven of Wands and this Ace of Swords is here. You're learning something new. Now you either learned something new and that influenced you to tear something down, or something was torn down around the time that you learned something new. It was like it kind of happened at the same time and now you're a little bit defensive, you're a little bit guarded. You're battered and bruised here, but that's because you need to be releasing some burdens. And that's what this tower moment is highlighting for you. That's what you're working on healing here with the star and the four of swords, okay? The Four of Swords, I like to say, is very much like the minor arcana version of the Hanged Man. So in this Four of Swords energy, in this nap time, this retreat, this respite, this time out, um, you're working on gaining a new perspective, in order, which is also facilitating this healing for you, okay? The Tower is coupled with, ah, uh, yes, the Fool. That's beautiful. Now, this tower moment is setting you off on a brand new direction. You will not be able to, to, to embark on this new journey until you release these burdens with the Ten of Wands, okay? Just going to throw that out there. You don't want to, number one, you don't want to be taking old baggage from the past into your new situation. But number two, you won't be able to fly should, once you jump off this cliff, once you take this leap of faith, if you're carrying a bunch of old baggage, you're just going to drop down to the ground. So you have to release this. You have to be free and clear before you can really take this new leap of faith. And that's absolutely what this tower moment is helping you achieve. Okay. Moving forward in your month, the upcoming energies for the month of February. Let's see what you have here. First set of surrounding energies upcoming. You've got the queen of pentacles. This is that nurturing, that caring, that compassionate energy. You could be connecting with a Capricorn or maybe a, a, another earth sign, Taurus or Virgo. Um, 
but spirit is still saying philanthropy so this is more of that philanthropic energy this is um the mother energy the nurturing energy the care and compassion but in practical ways um she also is very much about tough love like she's not willing she's not she is not afraid to tell it like it is of course she's only doing it in order for you to heal and grow and be the best version of yourself that you that you can be but still she can be very stern and she's not one to really take any shit um but what i'm i'm definitely seeing a more of a deeper embodiment of this philanthropic energy that i'm feeling for you aquarius um and it could be that you're starting out your month wanting to do this but still having to release a bunch of burdens here uh, in order to embark in this new direction and by towards the end of the month i do see you some of you or at least yeah some of you at least uh being able to embody this queen of pentacles energy okay queen of pentacles is coupled with yeah the eight of wands communication uh this is definitely communicating with someone about in the terms in terms of self-love Ooh. Okay, that's not actually what I intended to say. What I meant to say was um, tough love, but that could be the lesson that you are working on communicating to someone, a tough love lesson in self-love, all right? Um, but this is uh, swift movement also. This is also its abundance with an eight. Um, and again, it has to do for some of you or many of you, really, it has to do with that philanthropic energy. I am seeing um, the floodgates being open or the doors or pathway being wide open for you to express this part of your nature. All right. That's excellent. Second set of surrounding energies in your upcoming energies for the month, you have the page of swords. So you could be learning something new. Um, but someone also could be watching you from the background. I, I do see it could be someone from your past or some sort of admirer that's kind of watching you embody more of this empathic, uh, compassionate energy and really admiring you. Um, I do see admire an admirer in this page of swords. For some of you, you could be learning something new. You could be getting into a new trade. You might actually be... Um, stepping into this uh, uh, energy of philanthropy for the first time. This could be, you know, the brand new cycle that you're starting and it's not really something that you've done before, but you really feel called to do it. So you really could be learning more about that. You could be learning more about that from someone that embodies this queen of pentacles energy. Again, it could be an earth sign, but it doesn't have to be an earth sign. I am seeing a feminine energy though. Could be male or female. I mean, we're not talking gender. We're just talking energy. But learning, and there could be a lot of communication between the two of you. Um, you could really be in the uh, in the energy of picking their brain, really trying to learn their methods, trying to understand, trying to become, trying to embody more of that compassion and understanding that they do. Um, it, that you could be the admirer here, okay? Page of Swords is coupled with... Ah, Six of Cups. Wow, that's beautiful. Giving back. Now, also, with this person that could be, I, I mean, this really could be a soulmate. Uh, if you want to, if, if you resonate with the twin flame situation, it could be your twin flame. Um, but this really is someone that sees you for who you are, uh, who you truly are on a much deeper level. And is really, really admiring you for this. Okay, and that's, that's great. Someone, it also, it could just be someone from your past, too, that's wanting to come forward. Now, as I, like I said, they could be admiring you for who they see you to be as this embodying this Queen of Pentacles archetype. Um, and so they're really intrigued. They re might really be admiring you, and they may want to come forward and communicate with you. Yeah, someone from your childhood or someone from your past, really. Okay, your challenge in the upcoming energies for the month of February, you have, ooh, the devil. Could be dealing with the Capricorn, all right? Um, but not getting all stuck on the, ooh, there goes my phone. Um, not getting all stuck up on the, you know, the signs. Uh, this is, wow. Fighting the good fight, you know, fighting against the devil, fighting against the ego, fighting against um, societal norms even, um, really trying to, 
uh, really trying to, I feel like for some of you, you're really trying to break others out of some sort of bad habits. Keep in mind that you can't change anything for them. They have to be the ones to make the change for themselves. But I do see you trying to influence this. Now, you could also be dealing with some, with your own demons here. I am seeing for some of you, this person that is, that is like kind of watching you from the past, there's some sort of potentially some sort of codependency surrounding the situation and that could be holding them at bay because if you are here now this could be you or this could be the other person keep in mind that this is a general reading okay but whoever is embodying this queen of pentacles energy here is really not even trying to focus on is not even worried about this devil energy or this codependent energy you've really broken through that codependent energy and you're standing on your own in a very um um compassionate and loving way but still stern and not really taking any shit like i like i say often the queen of pentacles and the queen of swords in my opinion are very much besties are very similar the only real difference is that the queen of pentacles has more emotional involvement in the situation than the queen of swords but they both can be a pretty stern hard ass okay um uh, toxicity toxicity is the challenge here if someone comes back into your life um, someone that you have, may have disconnected from, separated from, kind of closed the door on from the past. If they come back trying to, you know, talk to you or whatnot, I would say, you know, maybe you can have, you can entertain a conversation with them, keep it cute and be like, and, and cordial and civil, but, um, watch them very closely, watch their actions, listen to their words, um, pick, work on picking up their intentions and, you know, if they're still in that vibration that you left them in, leave them there, you know, go say, oh, it was nice to see you and go about your business and continue to embody more of this archetype and just move on with your path. Now, if they come back trying to reconcile, please may understand that you need to require they show you something different. OK, you can't just let them come back in and speak all this pretty, pretty bullshit and then not follow through with it. The Queen of Pentacles has no time for that is not even trying to entertain any sort of shit like that, okay? But for some of you, you really could, wow. All right, so I'm gonna go back a little bit here. If you are in the vibration of you're resonating with this as a relationship, um, you've been going through a process of healing from it. OK, you put up your boundaries, you put up your walls, you said enough is enough. You had the aha moment and the realization with the seven of wands and the ace of swords. The star and the four of swords is your moment of healing. Your challenge in the beginning of the month is um, the nine of wands and the ten of wands persevering, but also working to release the burdens here. There was some sort of tower moment, and I feel like that tower moment was directly related to the ace of swords. Whether it is you brought on the tower moment or the tower moment happened to you okay but ultimately that is setting up setting you up to embark on a brand new journey with the with the fool and then someone is embodying here this queen of pentacles energy moving forward in the month and lee and the doors the, the like the this path is wide open for communication and then here comes in this person from the past or someone from the past it doesn't actually it would also keep in mind that this doesn't have to be the same person it could just be another pe person or another group of people or another situation that re that has similar energy to what you are moving away from in the past okay so your challenge and then the later on in the month is to face that devil and cut it out really the devil is coupled with ah the two of pentacles so some of you are in between worlds here, and this is your transition. You are going to have to reface this devil energy in order to really see if you've learned the lesson, okay? Um, juggling here, keeping the balance, maintaining your balance. For some of you, this devil energy that you could encounter, it could be in the form of a person, it could be in the form of a situation or a circumstance. Um, uh, for some of you, oh shoot. Sorry, guys, I lost my train of thought. Oh, for some of you, the challenge here is to maintain your balance in the face of this devil energy. So going back to the philanthropy situation, you might be facing this ener this devil energy a lot. I'm picking up for specifically for some of you who are doctors or work in the medical field. Obviously, <clears throat> obviously, you're facing this devil-like energy 
all the time. And um, it and it's it's showing up as a devil energy because it's something that can aid in uh, bringing your vibration down. And you don't want to do that. You there, your challenge here is to maintain your your elevated vibration in the face of this devil energy. Okay, regardless of how that resonates or how that uh, regardless of how that not resonates but shows up in your individual experience. All right. Your closing message for the end for the uh, upcoming energies for the month or your potential outcome. You have ooh the King of Cups. For some of you, what I'm picking up on is that when you really when you really release this devil energy, and I mean like release it on the level where it doesn't even remotely affect you anymore. Like you can look it in the face and kind of yawn and be like, yeah, okay, and move on. To me, that's saying that you're, well, to the universe, that's saying that you've healed and that you are not affected by this energy anymore. And in that case, you leave the door wide open for a king of cups to come in and embody, and, and um, show up in your life. For some of you, this is embodying more of the divine masculine archetype in a more balanced way. For others of you, this is someone coming in that is willing to show you love um, and is willing to match and is willing to offer you something of value will offer something of value to this queen of pentacles archetype here okay king of cups is now that could be a cancer pisces or scorpio it doesn't have to be uh the main archetype here for the king of cups is scorpio there may be scorpio in your chart maybe some other water sign in your chart um i do see for some of you you're embodying more of this masculine energy when it comes to the emotions and this is in a balanced and healthy way um, and that is being facilitated by surmounting some sort of devil type energy. It's also emotional maturity. So this is the, and it's having that emotional maturity that will give you the ability to stand up and face this devil energy and not be affected by it. Okay. King of cups is coupled with, yes, the world, a, a, a level of completion comes into play here for you, Aquarius. Um, Wow, that's beautiful. Uh, so with this emotional maturity that comes through here, this really could be um, the, the, the kind, of, kind of like the final piece of a puzzle. And it could very much be a, a final piece of a puzzle. Excuse me, <laughs> let me finish my thought before I move on. A final piece of the puzzle that really brings some sort of completion to you on your path on your journey and that absolutely could have everything to do with this uh divine feminine or queen of pentacles energy that's coming through here for you um this would definitely this could definitely be the balance between masculine and feminine energy within and it's so interesting that it's coming out this way because in this the feminine is depicted as the earthly figure which is more of the masculine domain the masculine is depicted in a emotional uh, as an emotional figure, which is more of a feminine domain. So do you see how the situation is like, is like intertwining and balancing out? Um, you, the, the energies of the masculine and the feminine for some of you are really cross. <laughs> Spirit just said cross contaminating each other. And I'm, I, I say it that way because it's kind of funny. Because when you hear of cross contamination, you think contamination is not a good thing. But they they, they were joking. It was it was kind of a little silly little gesture. Um, but uh, you're oh here's a better way of saying it: cross pollinating each other. And so now your energies are commingling, and there's a greater sense of union within, a greater sense of balance between masculine and feminine within, which is bringing the completion the completion of a cycle that you can then embark on the fool energy with. So also for in the beginning of the month, now, now notice here, notice here, the fool, I'm sorry, the world is the last of the major arcana. The fool is the first of the major arcana. Once you complete a cycle, a new one starts and a new starts, a new cycle starts with the fool. So this tower energy that you're experiencing here, that you or another person, again, this is a general reading, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, the energies can flow either way. But the, but the uh, tower moment that someone is going through here is setting them up for embarking on a brand new journey towards the end of the month it's looking like you have the completion that allows you to then step out into that fool energy okay that's excellent aquarius so i'm going to get your oracle guidance now for the month of february sun moon rising rising and venus aquarians february 2019 thank you so much spirit 
All right, here we go, guys. Best message, please, for my Aquarian fam. There we go. Ah, abundance, excellent. Underneath the deck is courage. You are safe. Fear is an illusion. Is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. And that was one of the first. That was the first card that came out for you, Aquarius, in uh, the first set of surrounding energies in the beginning, like the current energies for the month, like the, the starting energies in the. You you get what I'm saying. <laughs> Okay, with the seven of wands. And now uh, your second or your main message here is abundance. Enjoy the bounty of life. Your supply is limited. Blessings are coming to you. Well, that's a beautiful card to get during your birthday season. Am I right? Like, damn. Good on you, Aquarius. So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, I wish you guys a very, very happy birthday. And I look forward to connecting with you again soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!